Hello viewers, I'm back with another problem from Lead Code today. Hope you're enjoying. Today's problem is angle between hands of the clock. So basically we are given with two numbers, hours and minutes. We have to return the smaller angle formed between the hour and minute hand. So for example, in the, in the picture shown, right? If hour is 12 and minutes is 30, we'll have to return it as 165 degrees. So we are always looking at the smaller angle that is between. So there is there are two angles possible between the two hands of the clock, right? So so this is 12 and this is 30, right? So if you look at this on the right side, there is an angle possible and on the left side also there is an angle possible. But as stated in the problem, we are only interested in the smaller angle, right? That is this angle in this particular case. So if we go to the next one, right? The example two, it's better understood. So here, this is a bigger angle, right? So this is a bigger angle and this is a smaller angle. So what we are interested in here is this smaller angle. So here, the smaller angle is three and 30, right? That is 75. So this is 75. So that is the uh, answer that we are looking for. So, so basically, uh, there is a there is a simple math involved in this uh, problem in order to solve this right so first thing is we need to uh, recollect our uh, understanding on the number of degrees in a circle so since the clock is represented in a circle right so in the circle there are 360 degrees total right in circle there are 360 degrees total so and uh, since the clock is divided into 60 minutes right so that is the that is the lowest of here so 60 minutes that means if you divide 360 by 60 you will get 6 6 degrees so between each minute there is a 6 degree angle right so between each minute there is a 6 degrees of angle how did you got that total is 360 and the number of minutes is in the clock are 60 right that's why we got six degrees in between each minute right so if you do that right from 12 the number 12 here in the clock to number one here right how many minutes are there one two three four and five right so that means from 12 to one there the angle is 30 degrees if we were to draw something like this right between 12 and midpoint and 1 and midpoint that will be 12 to 1 that will be equal to 30 degrees same as 1 to 2 is 30 degrees 2 to 3 is 30 degrees like that so you have 12 1 to 12 right so totally it becomes 360 degrees right so that's one thing the second thing is when the minutes hand move right our hand also moves accordingly so but when we move the minute hand from 0 to 60 right that means for one hour it moves from 0 to 60 the minute hand right whereas the hour hand moves from one number to another number which is from 12 to 1 or 1 to 2 right so when the num when the our hand moves from 12 to 1 that is it is moving only between these five uh, small lines that is five minutes right so for one full hour we need to divide it by 60 things right so for each 12 minutes right for every 12 minutes it moves from 0th minute to 1 minute angle and 1 to 2 when it is at the 2th angle right that means there have been 24 minutes passed when it is here that it, it has been 36 minutes passed like that so it is 12 minutes per between the between the our our hand right so like that so these are the basics that we are going to use in order to solve our problem so let's go look at some more uh, points that we need to consider here right so as we discussed total is 360 degrees 
our hand moves 30 degrees for one hour right so that's what we discussed so between 1 to 2 or between 12 to 1 2 to 3 we have 30 degrees so for one hour it moves 30 degrees so that means for each minute it moves 0 0.5 degrees you can assume like that so when it moves 30 degrees for one hour one hour has 60 minutes right that means for each minute it moves 0.5 degrees so that's a assumption right and next going to the minute hand so every minute it will have six degrees just like we discussed right total is 360 and 60 minutes so that's how we got six degrees so take the base as 12 o'clock that is when it is at the 12th 12 o'clock we just assume it as zero degree this is just an assumption that's it so we'll start from zero this is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, like that. This is just a baseline that we want to uh, start with. So, one assumption here I am making is, if the hour is equal to 12, right, I am just reinitializing the hour to 0, right. You will see why I am doing that, okay. So, now our goal is, calculate the minute hand degrees and calculate the our hand degrees uh, from 12 o'clock right that is a zero degree so from minute degree just calculate the minute from minutes calculate the minutes degree from hours and minutes calculate the hour degree once we have minute degrees and hour degrees from the baseline that is from the 12 o'clock zero degree we will have to subtract we'll get the difference between them remember we need to get the angle between them right but there is another one also we always looking for the smaller right we will that's why we have another uh, if statement from 12 13 lines so but let's let's do this first number nine so minute degree is simply if there are x number of minutes we are uh, multiplying that number of minutes by six because six is the degrees right for every minute we have to multiply with 6 degrees so that is how we did so we got the minute degrees and for our degree for every hour we are multiplying the hour with 30 degrees because our hand moves for every one hour 30 degrees there is one more thing that we need to do because at 12 30 when you go back right when we 12 30 the our hand moved between 12 and 1 right so we need to calculate how much it moved right if it if it stays at 12 itself then we probably don't have to calculate but it doesn't stay at 12 it also moves between 12 and 1 like the uh, dotted line showing shown here right like that so now we need to calculate that small difference as we already talked in the hour hand case this one right it moves 30 degrees for each hour so that's what we done we did it this one plus for every minute it moves 0 0.5 degrees right so that is what we need to add for our degree once we add minutes and our once we have minutes degrees and our degrees right we just get the difference between them and do a get an absolute value if the difference is more than 180 degrees right so if you divide the clock into two halves 180 and 180 right because the total clock is 360 degrees if we divide it is into two halves it is 180 and 180 if at all the angle between them is more than 180 right as we are looking for a smaller angle we just subtract that from 360 so that we get the smaller angle and we get the we give the difference back so that's how we are able to solve this problem this is a simple math problem so if you look at the time complexity right so time complexity so here all the calculations that we are doing here are uh, here we are just multiplying with uh, uh, minutes with six hour with 30 and ad adding minutes to five so we would say whatever the input that you give this takes constant amount of time so time will be uh, constant 
and space so we are using few variables here uh, minute degree hour degree and diff right so this will be also a constant right so we would say it takes constant space and constant time to get the answer so this is an accept so accepted solution on lead code thank you for watching if you have any questions please comment uh, if you like the video please subscribe and share among your friends i'll be back with another video in future please stay tuned thank you